testing and the, yeah, so either which way we're a bit later than this evening, but we're going to run a bit later as well. So we'll eventually balance out and I've had some good news today. From the looks of it, my semester two at university only requires me to be in on a Monday evening so we can continue doing these live streams on a Thursday. I really need to go and change all my schedules now. Fun, but we'll cross that. I'll cross that bridge in a bit. I can't remember if I've changed the schedule in the panels down below. I might not have, so I suppose that's one victory, maybe? And anyway, with that said, let's just get on. Let's just get the show rolling. I've just realised I've not got Cyberpunk in the corner, but whatever, we'll just go with it. So come, join me as we once more step foot into the vortex as we continue to travel and traverse the world, the realm of Cyberpunk 2077. Our destination lays before us, the controls are set. So let's go. Shall we? Right, I've hit the wrong button there. I lose this jacket as well, come to think of it. That's a pint of cider. Hold on. Uh, where am I going to put you? You can live. Look. And you can live. Look. And my phone can stay there. And yes, thank you, Glass Wire. Well done. By doing something. Application info change. Game bar presence writer. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll go with that. You know, it's a bit warm for this jacket. I'm going to lose it. Hold on. Yep. I can always put it back on if I'm too cold, can't I? Good evening, Night City! There we go. Continue. Oh, cold. <laughs> I can't make up my mind now. Right, whatever. We'll we'll just go with it. We'll just I'm sure the room will warm up shortly, considering I've got a big light up there and a little light down there, and I've got my computer there, and I've got my monitors there, and I don't know, a small inferno behind the green screen. No, that's only when we're playing the PlayStation. There we go. Wonder what the boss has to say about it. What if I know? Um, why doesn't it show my things in the stash? That's really annoying. I have samurai swords. Just put them there, or put a gun somewhere. I mean, I've got a dying knight. It's going to be very, very special weapons that go on these walls, isn't it? Some light, it'll be a legendary iconic that'll go on these walls. Anyway, right, what are we going to do first? Uh, Map Talpaline. Oh, right, we need to talk to the Voodoo Boys. We need to talk to Takamura, which we haven't done yet. Call Pan Am. Well, I'm going to do that later. Full disclosure, what have we got here? Sandra Dorset. Let's do this mission. I'm curious. You're V, right? You find the data bank? Someone's back in tip top shape. Trauma must have put you back together in no time. Yep. Good as new. Still, if not for you, wouldn't have been anything left to put back together. Never got the chance to thank you properly. Wasn't there someone else with you? Big guy? Whenever you get a chance, tell him I said thanks. Oh, thanks. Jackie's a. Uh... Sure, I'll pass it on. Knowing Jackie, though, he'd probably take that as his cue to ask for your number and call you up for a date. But mm. that'll never happen, because he... Jackie, uh... Never mind. I'm sure you got a lot on your plate. Is everything okay? Sure, yeah, yeah, of course. So, did you find my data bank? I did chase, huh? Well, you'll never guess where I found it. Scav hunt. Um, Sandra, you there? Yeah, it's just that. Well, ever since they told me what happened, I just can't stop seeing them. I figured they must have had it. But, you know, it's not like I was going to go looking for it myself after. I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. Look, I don't know if I'm the right person to talk to about this. I'm not too great with, uh, feelings. Can we get back to, you know, biz? Sorry. You're hmm. I know, I know. It's early. It's too early for me to be doing safe scumming, but I, I want to see what that other option would have been. I've made that mistake before. 
I've made that mistake before, and I'm not making it again. Also, full disclosure, I've been actually first started watching Cowboy Bebop, and guess which character I want to try and recreate in my playthrough of this game. Um, so let's do this. Actually, we have the data pack thing. Uh, quick save. I also said I'd do this. I didn't realize we'd actually found the thing. I thought we'd. Oh, okay, apparently accidents happen. Is it an encrypted one at the bottom? Named Dragon Biography. Oh. Uh... Oh. You know what? Life's too short. If we were going to read it, we would have read it. But whatever. We will just call this woman instead. <laughs> Honda. No. Ah. Hold on. There we go. Only available in, the, in this. That's fine. Hey, you're V, right? You find the data what bag? the? Uh, who? What? Ah. Hey, Sam Eight. Thank you very much for the follow, sir. Welcome to our band of travelers, Samurai. Um, glad you're holding Someone's up. Right. Okay. Top, uh, oh. Trauma must have put huh? you back together well, in no time. We can't skip. Good as One. <laughs> Still, if not for you. Wouldn't have been anything left to put back together. Never got the chance to thank you properly. Wasn't there someone else with you? Big guy? Whenever you get a chance, tell him I said thanks. Oh! Hello. Yeah, about that. Jackie's dead. <sighs> no. My condolences. It... It wasn't because of me, was it? No. He was killed by Arasaka. It wasn't too long after we found you. Jackie always had too much cool to let anyone know he gave a shit, but... After everything you went through, he'd be happy you remembered him. Anyway, what matters is that we're still alive. Now, um... About that, uh... The data bank, do you have it? Okay, right, I'm... You know what, I'm so glad I went with that option. That, that was a better option. Right to the I chase, think. huh? Well, you'll never guess where I found it. A scav hunt. Sandra, you there? Yeah, it's just that. Well, ever since they told me what happened, I just can't stop seeing them. I figured they must have had it. But, you know, it's not like I was going to go looking for it myself after. I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. You'll see. Listen, you've got Trauma Team Platinum. You couldn't be in better hands. I'm sure they already fixed the Sig Jammer exploit. True. But who knows what the scabs will cook up next time? <laughs> anyway, that's all in the past now. Got bigger fish to fry. You want to talk about it? It's nothing. Just bring the data bank to my apartment. Sending you the address now. Thanks. There we go. Cool. Right, meet with Sandra. We can do that. You know, so long as we don't jump off another ledge or something. Um, that uh, went a bit better. Seriously, why is that even there? It's just, it's just. There's no anti-fall damage thing, is there? Oh, maybe there is actually. Maybe there is an anti-fall damage thing, in which case we could literally just run off that ledge and jump down, and we'd be perfectly fine and dandy and happy, happy. Well, as happy as I usually am at any rate. with a happy ending. As you recall, 35 miners became trapped deep underground following a high magnitude earthquake. But thanks to their Suze Lake 2 hibernation implants, the miners were able to survive without access to food and fresh water for two weeks. Fortunately, okay. after their rescue and following a brief rest for technical evaluation, the miners were able to immediately return to work. Yeah. Well, okay. And I, I, they sort of pulled me in with the because of the hibernation modules. I was thinking, ah, okay, that's pretty cool. So that sort of thing can help people like miners or other people in dangerous environments to survive something like that. And then they said, and then they went straight back to work. Oh well, up yours as well then, game. 
Welcome to the Outer Worlds. That's the wrong key, isn't it? There we go. Let's go with... You know what? In memory of Jackie. You'll be kidding me. Boing. Boing. Uh... What? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Oops. I've both caused the traffic death of the... Right. Never mind. Rome. Oh, that looks like a... Yeah, I don't want to argue with that car, do I? Uh, what am I listening to? Oh. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it that. We'll leave it as that. Room. Room. Wait a minute, I'm on the wrong side of the road. Oopsies. Or I'm on the right side of the road. Technically for me. Uh, there we go. That's a thing. Oh, no, wrong button. There we go. <laughs> we survived without crashing into anything. That's, that's got to be a first. Maybe. Dimer buzz. Or dialer buzz. Okay, sure. Whatever. Apartments. I am quite curious what's on this data bank. Also, while we're at it. Ooh, I've leveled up, haven't I? Right, I'll have to do that in some point. Wait, 100. Increased stamina. Oh, no, that's increased stamina. Increased max RAM units, increased carrying capacity. Okay, so we can could have used that when we run... Oh, uh, okay. After we finish this, I'm going to have to go through and sort out a bunch of the bits and pieces. Um, all our leftover weapons and armor that we need to break down. Get some crafting components. Who knows? We might be able to craft something. Nothing useful, but we could craft something. Box. Fine. Hello? Sandra? You in there? Are you alone? Did anyone follow you? What does it look like? Come on. Don't like leaving the door open. Still worried about the scavs? My, um, friend told me your memory would be scraped clean. The scavengers? Oh! No, I'm worried about... Um, no, it doesn't matter. You bring the data bank? Where's he placed? Nice place you got here. Tasteful. Thanks. Entry 38. What's this? They're watching me. I'm not just on the net. Some shady looking types followed me all the way to work today. When I finally worked up the nerve to turn around and face them, they vanished. Maybe I'm just paranoid, but I think they were speaking Russian. I'm starting to get a little freaked out. I wonder if this ties into the, the Russian quests we've been doing. Yeah, for those who are just joining us on this Let's Play, so far as a couple of side quests, we've been sent to put a, a tracer on a Russian agent, a uh, Russian fixer's car. And then later on, we went, invaded the uh, hotel apartment where he was staying and stole something. I forget what we stole, actually. It was a data, uh, I think it was a data shard. But yeah, I wonder if this ties into it. Um, hold on. Entry 37. Jesus, those files. Maybe I should have just left them alone. Each of them could be a puppet without a uh, puppet without even realizing. And the flights to, uh, and the and those flights to the moon. What are they cooking up there? Was it human human DNA or I couldn't run a f for a scan. I only had time to break through one folder's ice. Uh, ice. Either way, I'm pretty sure they flagged me. Can't tell if it was unmasking an unmasking demon or their dweller. I'm guessing the dwellers are the net runners who uh, like plugged themselves physically into the network. Mode. Enemies. There we go. Ooh, summer silver hand. Cool. Thirty-six. I'm, I get the feeling I'm reading these in the wrong order. Weird. It looks like Anon forty-two was right after all. I recently found a previously uncharted section of the net out in out in the boonies. Even though I'd already been there maybe twenty odd times, I guess I can only access it when the with the right parameters. 
It only cost me a week of sleepless nights, but I finally figured the Leviathan, uh, finished the Leviathan and punched through the section, uh, section undetected. At least I think. Good thing too, because it turns out Anon 42 uh, sliced net corpse servers again. I really should just take a break. Quit the net for a few months. But those files did look really suspicious. Is there anything in here? I'm sure she doesn't mind me poking around her apartment. It's not like she's paranoid or anything. Okay, so she found some files that she wasn't supposed to find, and now we've got all this stuff going on. Also, this is a really nice apartment. If it's not the scabs you're worried about, then who? Look, I didn't pay you to come here and ask me personal questions. Hey, you mentioned it. Besides, I saved your life. That isn't worth anything? It was worth whatever you got paid. Don't pretend I wasn't just another small-time job for you. Now, did you bring the data bank... Yeah, got it right here. Here. Don't worry. It's completely intact. When someone tells me not to worry, it usually means they're hiding something. You wouldn't happen to have seen what's inside, would you? Uh, of course not. <laughs> and ruin my cred? For what? A few bytes of data? Funny you should say that. Because not long ago, the data bank's GPS sig suddenly went online. Which can only mean one thing. Someone booted it up and used it. All right, you got me. All right, you got me. I looked inside. I know everything. That's what I thought. So what's your next move? Um, <laughs> blackmailing you, of course. I want to congratulate you. I have no idea what's going on, by the way. I don't remember reading this data bank. You congratulate work with you, of course. Here. Anyone who hacks Nycorp has earned my respect. Oh. Well, I, um, thank you. You know, if they end up going through with it, then... The net will become even more dangerous. You were worried they'd find out about you. Exactly. There we go. What daemons did you use? Nycorp secured up the ass. Can't just upload the usual blackout and fire shaft. You must have whipped up some angry demons. You zip them up in an imp? Yeah, Leviathan. Even Cerberus isn't enough if you want to punch through that kind of corpo ice. Use an AGI to condition workers' minds. <laughs> That's some supervillain shit right there. Not just workers. Anyone. That's the scariest part. You've been a big help. Here, I threw in a little extra for a fellow runner. It's good okay. to be reminded I'm not in this fight alone. Thanks. Be seeing you. Okay, cool. Right, well, that worked. Well, that was nothing. Full disclosure, job complete. <laughs> well, how about that? That's not what I was expecting, and I honestly don't remember reading what was ever in that data shard, but you know what? I'll take it. Oh, yeah, I also had the sentry turret set to save just in case. Just in case. To be honest, I don't even remember picking up that data shard. I, it must have been in the warehouse where we saved Evelyn. And I just read it there. I think at the time I was a bit too concerned with shooting scabs in the head, if I'm completely honest. All scabs must die. This is our new rule. Our only rule of this game. Well, that and try not to be an arse anymore. But other than that, other than those two rules... Two rules... Now, what on earth are we going to do? Um, Beast and me. Visit Claire. At yes. No, we're going to do this. We're going to see what Claire wants, because I like Claire. Claire is awesome. Oh, oh well, the acceleration on that. Who would love the sound of that? The... I think it is it a sound that's I wonder if that's the same sound that sort of woo 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 is only a sound that made by the motorbikes or if that's all the vehicles. Whoa, okay. <laughs> awesome. How do I screenshot on this in this? Well, 
F11? F10? 9. Sod it. We'll, we'll just use the camera mode for a change. How about that? <laughs> uh, uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. And... Green shot. Cool. That's the only time I've used the camera, but heck, I'll take it. Oh, please, if somebody's in chat, please, somebody clip that. <laughs> if you haven't done it so already. That was awesome. Okay, let's see. Oh! Um, how do I use the phone? Let's give Jackie a ring. I think you would have thought that would have opened up some dialogue. The 54th anniversary of the AHQ disaster is fast approaching. In 2023, Night City was shaken to its core by the detonation of a tactical nuclear bomb in Arasaka's NC headquarters. Right, my phone's broken now, Marvels. 12,000 were killed instantly by the blast, and thousands more later succumbed to acute radiation sickness. Wait, what? There. What? No, oh, sorry, they're literally going to kill the homeless with neurotoxin. That's aperture levels of nonsense. Really? 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 Good lord. Uh. Visit some Ripidox as well. Not that I think I've got enough money to visit mo most of the Ripidox at the minute, but we really should start visiting different Ripidox just to see what we can pick up. Yeah, a few legendary items if we can find any. If we can use them. I think, like, the. Was it the Mantis Blades and the Gorilla Arms? I could only use them if I have a set amount of things. No, no, we're not doing that side. We're doing this side mission first. We'll do that side mission when we pass it next. But we'll do this side mission first. There's a side mission there as well. Bugger. Uh, sir, you know sir, miss, me? miss. Out the way, please. It also helped with the horn actually distracted the NPCs and just made them run away. But no, apparently I just have to drive into... It, so the bubble of my vehicle gets too close to them and then they go Aah! and panic. Eh, I mean, no, that's how it works, but sure. Room. Room. Blimey, Claire lives miles away, doesn't she? Uh, okay, hello. <laughs> Don't mind me. Cool place to finish. And they all look like zombies. Hello, well, we'll grab that, sure. Wait a minute. Is there a fight going on over here? No justice, no mercy! Okay, don't know what's going on over there, but sure. Uh, how do I get in? Do I have to wait for Clerk? Is it oh, right, it's 2 a.m. That's probably why. Right, let's skip time to... I don't know, 7 o'clock in the morning? Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. Here we go. Uh, Claire? Under the rig. Well, we'll read that in a minute. Okay. Surprise. 
Claire, listen, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but here we go again. Uh, here we go anyway. For the greater good! The whole team is planning a party for your discharge from the hospital, and we're asking, uh, and they, we're asking for uh, my advice on gifts. Rather than some, uh, some tacky surprise, I figured you'd want something actually useful. Am I, am I right? Uh, you know the best gift is just a lot of your smiling faces. But if they really want to go on above and beyond, then I suppose I'm in need of a new jumpsuit for work, like a neoderm or some such. Give everyone my hugs and kisses for me, and not to ruin the little surprise for you, but once they uh, once they let me out of this damn hospital bed, you won't be able to walk for a week. <laughs> I like Claire. Small hiccup. Sorry, babe. I gotta stay a few more days to help Mike with work. Poor guy's overloaded. I'll call. Uh, I'd call, but there's no ripper on hand, and I don't know how to fix this. Long story short, it's just a few days, so no need to worry. Sure seems convenient. We can't even hollow each other. Have fun. I swear there's nothing I can do about it. I'll pay when I get back. I'll pay you when I get back. The next few days are gonna fly by. Please don't get upset over be upset over this. It's fine, don't worry about me. Works had my hands full and my head's head splitting anyway. Can't remember the last time after life was so busy. And it's not like I can live without you. But I actually don't think I can. Love you, Leadhead. Hurry back soon. Whooping Samson. This piece of crap's got it coming straight to him. Sent me a message saying he doesn't owe me a dime. The fluffers probably were of warming his ass in a corpo issue generic leather chair right now while I'm pinching any's from scrap work. Swear I'm going to uh, make. Uh, swear I'm making him eat pavement next week. Dean, you gotta drop it. Water under the bridge. Peter stopped being your friend the moment career. The moment career came first. You got canned. He got promoted. Life goes on. Letting it fester is only going to hurt you more. Speaking of, I was actually thinking we skip this race. Rather not. Uh, rather you not die with a red fog like this. Uh, drive with red fog like this. Let's get away for a while, just you and me. Head north and honest. Uh, head north or honestly wherever. To get your mind off Peter. You know I can't and I won't, but honestly I'm fine. Just had to vent. Next week we're going to take home first place prize and we'll hit the road any place you want. Love you. Of course they don't put any dates on these though, so we can't figure out where where they're all from. But sure. Right, let's see. Ah. Uh, Ah, oh, well, that looks like a person. Are you Dean? No, he is a. Okay. I could have sworn I saw a data shard somewhere in here. Hold on. One over there? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there is a data shard over there. Okay. I thought I was going mad, right. That's it. Cards and a data shard. Shard, even. Orton Owens Manual. Well, we already read that in Judy's place, so maybe this is Judy's car. Already read that. Go away. Oil can. Some sort of gun. Yo. Oh. What do I say? Wibble. You're welcome. Right, why is there a shower here? No justice, no mercy! No justice, no mercy. Have fun with that. High octane, never mind. Like right. Hey, Claire. Hell of a machine. Hmm. You know your shit and you've got good taste. Meat beast. My pride and joy. Beer in the fridge if you want me. Thanks. So what's this about? Need a driver. Thought you might do. Driver, right? With you as navigator? A driver, huh? With you as my navigator? Not exactly. This kind of racing involves drivers and gunners. Oh, so you a turret guru or a driver's ed dropout? I'm more an engine tuner. Good at it too. And I shoot, but I'm no rally racer. 
I trust you're capable behind the wheel. Oh, well, this won't be your first rodeo, will it? This won't be your first time out, will it? Don't worry. I've done my fair share of rounds. And your last driver? They quit? In a way, died in a race a year back. Oh. Uh, sorry. Right, well, that's probably Dean then. Yeah, I'll be your driver. Uh, sure, Claire. I'll be your driver. Okay, we got four races. First one's in city center. That'll be followed by the Badlands and Santo, then Watson to finish. Cool. Here we go! All the stakes. There are carrot we're chasing after? First place gets a payout. That happens, we split it 50 50. Sound fair? Got goosebumps already. If I'm driving, why not use my wheels? I think it's got what it takes. This isn't just about speed. Here we go. It's a gauntlet of twisted steel. Well, rest easy. I don't drive a soapbox racer. Yes, you do. Your car, mine. You'll be on the pedals. You decide. Your car. <laughs> Your car, easy. Where do we start? There's a qualifying ladder. You need to climb it to reach the finals. How high? Top three in at least two rallies gets our ticket stamped. Let's meet in city center. I'll snap you the specifics. You hear the roar of over two monsters? That's the place. See you there. Well, we're definitely safe scumming this one. Also, I, I really should get one of those little rolly truck things for work. If only for when I'm crawling under desks. Oh. Um. What? Are you okay? You, you appear to be half stuck out of the front of your car. Um, okay, okay, okay. Just, um, see you later, Claire. Have have fun with whatever. Yeah, okay, right. Wait a day for Claire to contact you. Complete three qualifying races. Wait, is that optional or is that literally what we need to do? Um... No one at night city is only one layer deep. Take Claire, for example, an afterlife bartender who likes to burn rubber in illegal street races while she's on break. If you get a niche for a little adrenaline, I think I can, you can scratch it at her garage. Okay, sure. Uh, hmm. Can we act? Oh, right. We have to wait a day for Claire to call us, so we can't do that, so we will do this. Excuse me. This side job. Sure, why not? 